Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of the Heyman Adventure Podcast. I'm your host, Terrence, and oh boy, do we have an enlightening episode for you today. If you're joining us for the first time, let me extend a heartfelt welcome. We're super glad you're here. This podcast is all about creating spaces that not only look good but feel good. We're not just putting holes in walls. We're enriching lives by enhancing the spaces where you live and work. For those of you who've been with us, welcome back. Your continued support is the fuel to our creative fire, and we've cooked up something special for you today to show our gratitude. Quality is our game, whether we're talking about handyman services or the valuable info we share right here. So what's the hot topic for today? We're peeling back the layers on something that seems straightforward but can go horribly awry if mishandled e. S. Folks, we're discussing the art of TV mounting and installation. Art. Really, you say? Absolutely. Hanging a TV is about more than just finding a stud in the wall. It's about the perfect height, the optimal viewing angle, the wall type, and so much more. If you think mounting a TV is a one-size-fits-all operation, stick around. We'll debunk that myth and guide you through the maze of considerations that can make or break your binge-watching experience. So whether you're cozied up on your couch with your favorite drink, or multitasking and need something interesting in the background, settle in. By the end of today's episode, you'll be looking at your TV setup with fresh eyes. You'll have the know-how to either do it yourself or make a smart call on when to bring in the pros. And yeah, that could mean us. Let's get one thing straight. Today's chat isn't just for those handy with a drill or who know their way around tech. This is for all you movie lovers, sports fans, and serial binge watchers who want nothing less than an ideal viewing experience. No one wants to squint at a screen that's too high or crane their neck at one that's too low. We're here to help you get it just right. All right, grab that drink and kick back. We're setting the stage for an eye-opening discussion. So, welcome, once again or for the first time, to the Hangman Adventure. Let's get this show on the road. All right, everyone, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into why we're calling TV mounting an art form. I know some of you might be scratching your heads, thinking, art, really, Terrence, but stick with me, folks. By the end of this segment, I'm confident you'll see how much finesse, planning, and expertise goes into this seemingly simple task. So let's kick things off with positioning. Forget about the mounts for a sec. We've got to decide where that beautiful flat screen of yours is going to live. We're not just talking about finding the wall studs or the wall material. Nope, the time of day matters too. Confused? Let me break it down. Ever been blinded by sunlight reflecting off your TV screen? Well, to avoid that I can't see anything moment, you gotta factor in how natural light plays in your space. We've talked wall, we've mentioned lighting. Now let's get to the height. Oh man, don't even get me started on how vital this is. Put that TV too high or too low and you might as well send out an invite for next strain to your next Netflix marathon. We professionals have our guidelines and formulas to hit that sweet spot where your TV seamlessly meets your line of sight. The height and position you pick are going to affect the kind of mount you choose. There are the basics like fixed, tilting, and full motion mounts. But hold on, within those broad categories, you've got subtypes that offer unique features. Want your TV to swivel toward the dining area for dinnertime news? There's a mount for that. Despise dangling cables. We've got mounts with built-in cable management systems. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. The hardware. You're probably thinking it's just a bunch of screws and bolts, right? Wrong. Pick the wrong hardware and you might end up with a hole in your wall, or worse, a hole in your pocket from having to replace a fallen TV. There's more science here than you'd think. Load capacity, torque settings, all that jazz. It's like assembling a puzzle, only this one stays on your wall. And let's not forget about the tools. A shoddy tool can turn your dream TV setup into a nightmare. Whether it's an electric drill or a simple spirit level, quality tools are your best friends in this process. They're the backbone of a sturdy, safe, and perfectly aligned installation. Last, but by no means least, let's talk post-installation. You got your TV up but your job isn't over. It's time to calibrate those settings, folks. The lighting in your room, the distance you sit from the screen, even the angle at which you're watching. All these elements need to harmonize for that optimal viewing experience. The fine art, so to speak, is in those final touches. So, in a nutshell, 
Mounting your TV is like conducting an orchestra. Every decision, from location to height, from mount type to hardware and tools, all come together in this grand performance. When executed flawlessly, it doesn't just alter your room's aesthetic. It transforms your entire media-consuming experience. Now tell me, if that's not art, what is? To sum it all up, mounting a TV is an intricate dance, blending practicality with aesthetics. And if you pay attention to every step, the payoff is nothing short of breathtaking. It turns your media consumption into a full-blown experience. And that, my friends, is why we call it art. All right, folks, we've ventured through the labyrinth of what makes TV mounting an art form. So now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. The do's and don'ts. Listen up. Whether you're a seasoned DIYer or toying with the idea of bringing in the pros, this segment's got something for everyone. First things first, let's stalk walls. Yeah, you can't just aimlessly drill anywhere and hope for the best. Why? Two words, electrical wiring. Last thing you want is to turn your DIY project into a 911 call, right? Pros use stud finders that double as wire and pipe detectors. So, you're not just mounting a TV, you're dodging potential hazards. Now, about positioning. Where you're sitting matters, folks. Ideally, when you're chilling on your couch, your eyes should meet the middle of that screen. So break out that tape measure, take down some numbers from your sofa to your proposed screen spot, and plan it out. Your neck and your eyes are gonna thank you for this, believe me. Another key do, pre-mark your drill points. Use painter's tape or sticky notes to outline the TV's four corners. Then step back. Walk around the room. Heck, even sit down where you'll watch most often. Make sure you love it from every angle. You can't undrill a hole, folks. Switching gears to screws. Get the right con. I know, seems like a no-brainer, but you'd be shocked how often this step gets skipped. Too short, and it won't hold. Too long, and you could wreck your TV. When in doubt, consult the manual or, hey, give the experts a shout. All right, here's a don't that's sometimes overlooked. Keep those wandering toddlers and happy to see you pits in mind. Your TV shouldn't be a hazard in its own home. A wagging tail or a tiny, exploring hand could spell disaster. So pick your spot carefully. Cable management, anyone. Look, a bird's nest of wires hanging from your new flat screen is not a good look. Whether you're using cord hiders, cable clips, or going full James Bond within wall cable systems, think about this before you drill. It's like the bow on a gift. It just ties everything together. And what about your extra gadgets? Planning to set up a gaming console, soundbar, or maybe a Blu-ray player? Consider their future homes too. Will you need extra shelving? Or can they cozy up in a cabinet below the TV? A little foresight saves a lot of aftersight. Trust me, I've got a vital don't for ya. Don't rush. Skim over the instructions, and you might miss the fine print that says don't drill here or this side up. Take it slow. Double check your work. And the odds of a TV mounting tragedy drop dramatically. And if this all sounds like way too much, there's no shame in calling in the cavalry, aka the professionals. We've got the tools, the know-how, and yes, even that artistic touch to make your TV a centerpiece, not just an appliance. So, there you have it. A checklist of your do's and don'ts for this mounting adventure. It might sound like a lot to remember, but it all boils down to this. Plan well, measure twice, and choose wisely. Each step you take elevates this from a mere task to an art form, a personal touch in your living space. Before we jump into the next segment, let's recap real quick. Do be meticulous and measure, measure, measure. Don't rush or skimp on the details, and never underestimate the value of a pro's touch. Armed with these tips, you're now ready to either make your TV mounting a masterpiece or, at the very least, a chore that won't come back to bite you. So go on. Make your living room the envy of everyone who steps into it. As always, it's that magic moment. Our Q&A time. You all never disappoint with the questions you send our way. And this time, we're diving deep into the world of TV mounting. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So, first up, Sarah from Baldwin County is wondering, why should I opt for professional TV mounting services? What a great place to start. Sarah, look, we've all been there. The TV comes in a giant box with a mounting kit. And how hard could it be, right? But let's break it down. 
First off, we've got the whole issue of finding the stids in the wall. This is crucial because your TV is heavy and we want it safe and sound. A pro knows how to find those elusive stids like a truffle pig knows how to find truffles. Then there's the spirit level. Oh, you haven't heard of it. Well, it's what prevents your TV from having that ever so slight tilt that you just can't unsee. Professionals use it to make sure everything is aligned perfectly. And let's not forget insurance. Most professional services cover you if something goes sideways. So, you're not just paying for the install. You're paying for peace of mind. We all have enough to worry about. So why add a DIY DV mounting to the list? All right, moving on. Tim from sunny Escambia County asks, can every wall handle a TV mount? Tim, you've hit on something big here. So, you've got different types of walls, right? Drywall, plaster, concrete, brick, you name it. And each one is like a different species in the wall kingdom. Some are sturdy and can handle the weight. Others need a bit more finesse. And your professional installers, they're like the wall whisperers. They know exactly how to approach each type. There's also the factor of weight distribution. You have mounts that swivel and tilt, distributing the weight across different points. Pros know how to pick the right hardware for your setup so that your TV is as stable as a table with four good legs. And hey, if you're renting, there's the whole issue of lease agreements and building codes. Trust me, you don't want to be the one to find out the hard way that your lease prohibits wall mounts. Professionals can help you navigate that maze. Next up, we have Dave from Santa Rosa County who's stumped about. How do you mount a TV on a brick wall? Oh, Dave, you've opened up a can of worms. Brick walls are not for the faint of heart. They're like the Rubik's Cube of wall types. But don't worry, professionals have the right tools for the job. We're talking specialized hammer drills that can handle the density of bricks. Standard drills are not getting you anywhere in this situation, my friend. And oh boy, if your house is old and the brick wall is considered historic, you've got another layer of complications. You might need special permissions, and a pro will know exactly how to navigate these waters. Switching gears, Emily from Cook County wants to know, how can I make those cables disappear? Emily, I totally feel you. Cables are the unsung villains in any TV setup. Now, there are several routes you can take here. On-wall cable channels are like little highways for your cables. Paint them the same color as your wall, and it's like they almost disappear. If you want to level up, there's in-wall cable management. This involves some surgery on your wall, but it's like cosmetic surgery. When it's done well, you can't even tell it happened. And for the tech savvy among us, we've got wireless solutions. Everything from wireless HDMI to power options that can really clean up your setup. All right, Michelle from Washtenaw County is up next. She asks, do I need to upgrade my wall mount if I get a bigger TV? Michelle, let me tell you, this is something a lot of people overlook. So the quick answer, probably. Mounts are designed for specific weight and size ranges. You can't just slap a new 65-inch TV on a mount designed for a 32-inch screen and call it a day. That's like trying to park a semi-truck in a compact car space. It's just not going to end well. Pros can easily recommend the right mount for your new TV. They'll ensure it can handle the weight and that the mount has the right VESA. Video Electronic Standards Association pattern for your new set. In short, they make sure your new TV has a home as secure as Fort Knox. And hey, don't forget about the whole reconfiguration thing. If you've gone from a small TV to a much larger one, the placement might also need tweaking so that you're not craning your neck up like you're in the front row of a movie theater. Professionals can dial in that perfect height and viewing angle for you. Our last question comes from Carlos in Riverside County, who asks, 
What's the deal with mounting a TV above a fireplace? Ah, uh, the age-old debate, Carlos. It's like the pineapple on pizza question of the home theater world. Mounting a TV above a fireplace can look incredibly stylish. And let's be honest, it's prime real estate. But you've got to consider a few things. First, heat rises, and electronics hate heat. So, if you love your TV, you don't want to roast it. Make sure there's adequate ventilation and perhaps some heat shielding. Terrence, asterisk asterisk next, we've got to talk about the viewing angle. Ideally, your TV should be a tie level when you're seated. Placing it above a fireplace could mean you're looking up, which, over time, can be like sitting in the front row at the movies for two hours you might need a chiropractor. A professional will assess all these factors for you. There are even specialized mounts that allow your TV to tilt downward for a better viewing angle or pull down in front of the fireplace when you're watching. And if you're not using the fireplace often or it's purely decorative, then you might have fewer concerns. So, there you have it, folks. Mounting a TV above a fireplace is not a no-go. It's more like a proceed with caution. And that's where having a pro comes in handy. They'll help you make an informed decision so you can enjoy that cozy, cinematic vibe without the drawbacks. For you, we've covered some ground today. I hope this extended Q&A has been as enlightening for you as it has been fun for me. A big shout out to all of you who sent in these excellent questions. Remember, when it comes to TV mounting, it's not just about putting a screen on a wall. It's about creating a viewing experience that brings joy, comfort, and maybe a little bit of magic into your living spaces. My goodness, can you believe we've reached the end already? Time really does have a way of zooming by when you're lost in the nuances of a subject as engrossing as TV mounting. I gotta tell you, folks, it's been a blast taking this exploratory journey with you all today. We've dived deep into the hows and whys of this fascinating craft, uncovering all the things that make it far more than a simple task. It's a project that demands precision, skill, and a certain level of artistic flair. Wouldn't you agree? And let me be transparent. We've only just skimmed the surface of this iceberg. There's so much more to learn, so many more questions to answer, and countless tips and tricks to share. You ready for a quick teaser for next week? Oh, you're going to love this. Drum roll, please. We're stepping into the captivating world of wall art and mirror hanging. Picture this. Your wall's brought to life with cherished family photos, evocative art pieces, or even that concert poster you've been saving since you were a teenager. It's going to be a must-listen episode. If you're feeling like you wish you could physically be a part of this conversation, don't fret. Head over to our website, which is jam-packed with helpful resources and advice. While you're there, you can even share your questions or stories about your own TV mounting adventures. For those of you on social media, we're super active there too, so don't hesitate to connect. Oh, let me drop some important details on you. We are absolutely thrilled to be based in the charming towns of Daphne and Fair Hope in beautiful Alabama, and we're proud to extend our expert services to the surrounding areas. If you've got questions that need immediate answers, or maybe you're ready to take the plunge and get that TV professionally mounted, give us a ring at 251-599-7732. We're always thrilled to chat. What sets us apart, you ask? Well, it's the pride, care and attention to detail we pour into every single job. When you hire us, you're not just getting a service. You're becoming part of a community that values quality and customer satisfaction above all else. We're not just installers. We're artisans of our craft, passionate about what we do, and dedicated to making your home a better place to live in. By the way, if you're contemplating whether to go for professional TV mounting, you can reach out to us for a no-pressure quote. Quality, let me tell you, is our middle name. We offer top-notch service without breaking the bank, and that's a promise. And here's a quick call to action before we part ways for the week. If you found today's episode helpful, enlightening, or just plain entertaining, do us a huge favor. Like and subscribe and post your comments below. Share your experiences with us. Your support means the world to us and helps us grow this incredible community. So until next time, Keep those spirit levels accurate and those drills fully powered. 
This is Terence, your guide through all things wall mounted, signing off from another phenomenal episode of the Heyman Adventure. Remember, folks, you're not just hanging a TV, you're hanging a dream. Take good care, everyone.